uh, Dinah Washington sang Your Cheating Heart. For this music, if there's a fine melody and a lyric, it's just a song, and we put a style on it, you know what I mean? Right, right. But uh, I, sing, uh, I sing what I hear. And uh, I sing Bob Dylan. I, only just this one song that he wrote. What's that? Tim Tambourine Man. Right. Yeah, right. that's my thing. Yeah. The way you, I, when I heard you describing, you said it's all country. It sounded like you were describing the way Hank Williams would write about experiences uh, in a, you know, of lost love in a country song. And I mean, it's very much the same. Well, it's folk. Yeah, country. They call it country. It's folk music. I think this is folk too. So you, you, you believe this is a folk music? That you yeah, it's the music of the folks. They call and, and the songs that you write, do you always have a life experience that inspires you to write a song? Yes, it keeps me from having to go to the psychiatrist. And is it always a story that you try to tell? Yes. And is it rooted in a certain kind of experience? Yes. Can you tell me what motivates you most to write a song? It depends on uh, where I am in my life. Bird Alone was the song I wrote. I thought I was writing it for Miles Davis. I was in Japan and Miles was there with his band and he wasn't well. And I saw a bird in the sky and I described what the bird was doing. It wasn't until a couple of years later when I discovered it was really about me. I finished it and recorded it. Do you, do you find that's often? It's a lot yeah, it's about you. me, mm -hmm. and and I am the same as everybody else. Everybody's still writing prolifically, or does it yeah. come hard to you? No. How often do you write a song? Whenever I feel like it. I don't feel beholden. I have Let a bunch. Yeah.